Welcome back to part two of our Christmas gnome. We're going to take the white color or the color you used for the beard and our smaller crochet hook. We're making the nose now, so we'll start with a magic ring and place six single crochet in the ring. And like I said, I like to start with a chain one and then place six single crochet. That's two. five and six single crochet. We'll close the ring, slip stitch to our first stitch to complete this first round. Round two, we start with a chain one. We're going to single crochet in each stitch. So we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch working our way around. So that should give us 12 single crochet, joining to our starting stitch to end the round. Round three, the final round for the nose, chain one, single crochet in each stitch again. So that'll be 12 single crochet. It should cause the nose to curl or cup over. Slip stitch to the starting single crochet. And we're going to fasten off. We want to fasten off with a long tail so that we can sew this in place. So using this picture as a guide, we will place the nose at the top of the beard and then just sew the stitches around sort of to follow the center of the beard. So I've just tucked my tail on the inside part of the nose, starting at the top center of my Tunisian beard. I will attach, and then I'm just using the whip stitch to sew it around. You can use whatever method works well for you. Picking up stitches behind and slightly under the nose to attach. So you can work that around and fasten off when you're done sewing the nose. So now we want to um, put some of the stuffing in our gnome before we work further. So I've taken a piece of cardboard, it's actually from a cereal box and I stood the gnome up, sort of put my hand in it for the shape of the base and lightly traced around it. Now when I cut it out, I wanna cut on the inside so this circle is slightly smaller than the base of the gnome. So you can go ahead and get that part ready. Once it is cut, you will gently place it in the bottom of the gnome. Next, you wanna take a thin layer of soft stuffing to um, put over top of the cardboard base. Next, you want to add something that will give the gnome some weight. Um, so it can be some beans um, or something heavier like that. I'm using some popcorn, you could use rice. You can want to put that on the inside, the gnome on top of that thin layer of soft stuffing that we just added. I put mine in a plastic bag. Um, I've heard of some people put it in an old stocking or sock to place it in as well so it doesn't come out the holes of the crochet. 
So once you've got that prepared, you can go place that on the inside of the gnome on top of that thin layer of soft stuffing. And then we just want to continue to stuff in the soft stuffing all the way around the gnome. We want it to be fairly dense to fill up all the air pockets inside. And then play with it a bit till you get the desired shape of the body of your gnome. But you do want to have it fairly tightly packed with stuffing. Okay, and once we're about a half centimeter from the top of the gnome, we will stop. There'll be a chance to add more in a little bit. Okay. Now, at this point, I can see how, even though I did try to block it a bit, my um, beard is curling a bit. If you wish, you can take some of your yarn end and tack um, the corners down if you prefer. So now we're going to start with the hat. We'll work a few rounds and then the hat will be joined as you go to our stuffed gnome. So with our larger crochet hook, we are going to make a slip knot and then chain 60. So once we have 60 chains, we're just going to um, Curve the chain around, making sure it's not twisted. Join with a slip stitch to our starting chain to form a ring. So we want to switch to our smaller hook for this next round. We're going to chain one single crochet in that same chain as our slip stitch. And then we'll single crochet in each of the chains all the way around. So you should have 60 single crochet and you'll join it to our first single crochet at the end of the round but do not fasten off. So 60 single crochet at the end of round one. Round two, we will um, chain one single crochet in that same stitch as our slip stitch. We'll work a single crochet two together. So insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop, repeat, insert in the next, pull up a loop, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops for the single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next three two and three. So we'll repeat that sequence. We'll do it a total of 11 times. That's single crochet, two together, single crochet in three. So that's twice. You can do that nine more times. So once we've worked that 11 times, we'll do one more single crochet, two together and then single crochet in each of the last two stitches of the round. Join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet, but do not fasten off. There's 48 stitches in that round. Then round three, we will chain one single crochet in that same stitch as our slip stitch. Single crochet two together, worked over those next two stitches, and then single crochet in the next two stitches. And we'll do that 11 times. Single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two stitches. That's twice, we'll work that nine more times. So I've worked those 11 repeats. We want to do another single crochet two together, and single crochet in that last stitch. Do not join with a slip stitch and do not fasten off. We want to change back to our Tunisian crochet hook. So to work our final slip stitch of round three, we'll insert into the top of our first single crochet. I think having our hat sort of go around the top there 
insert in that top of our single crochet and the top both loops of that bind off stitch right by where we placed our first marker. We will pull the loop through and leave it on our hook. Oh, sorry, we're gonna make that slip stitch first. And then we're going to pick up loops around. So we'll insert in that next stitch or the single crochet of the hat and the next bind off stitch at the top of the gnome. Pull our loop up. We'll continue to work that all the way around. When we get to where the beard is, we will just work into that free back loop of the stitch. So just matching up each stitch and each bind off stitch. There are the equal number of um, stitches on the bind off row as are on the hat. So 36 loops we should have on our hook. And again, we're working in the round, so you will need to pull your cable through once you get part way around. Okay, so I'll let you work on that. I will meet you where the beard is to show you where we're picking up that back loop. So I've reached um, where the beard starts. I pulled some of my cable through to make it easier. We insert in the next single crochet and in the back loop of the stitch that we used for the beard and continue to pull up our loops. One in each single crochet, one in each stitch. Watching carefully to only use each step stitch once that we don't double up. Okay, and feel free to pull more cable through as you need to do this first row. Okay, so I've worked my way all the way around. I want to do that um, join in behind. So just finding, it's a little bit tricky here. I think I'm gonna pick up the one loop of the hat and one loop of the body for this first join. Pull through our first loop and then work our return pass all the way around. And again, pulling the stitches in the cable through as needed. Okay, so I'll let you carefully work this return pass. Now, if you haven't already, at this point, you want to be sure to make sure you have stuffed your gnome. Um, if you found that last round too hard, you may need to take some stuffing out and try to work it then and put the stuffing back in. The designer waited until this point to stuff it. I just chose to do mine a bit earlier. So rounds two to five in the hat are all worked in the same way and that's just a Tunisian simple stitch in each stitch all the way around. So we'll pull up loops in each stitch around. So there's 36 loops in our hook. Make that connection like we did on the body and work the return pass. So that's for rounds two, three, four, and five. So you can go ahead and work those now, moving your cable as you need. So I've worked those four rounds of TSS. This next round we want to work is a decrease round. So we will insert our hook under the two stitches again for that Tunisian simple stitch two together, and then simple stitch in each of the next four stitches three and four and we'll do that five times around two together stitch TSS in each of the next four stitches so that's twice we'll do that three more times when you've worked that around we want to do one more two together stitch and then a simple stitch in the last three stitches before making our connection and doing the return pass. So there was 30 stitches that round that round, sorry. 
we'll work two more rounds of a simple stitch in each stitch. So that'll be picking up those 30 stitches. So we can go ahead and do that now. That's two, three, four. So two rows of simple stitch. So I've done round seven and eight, those simple stitch rounds. Now we're working another decrease round. So hook under those first two loops to pull up our loop and then TSS in three stitches. Two together, simple stitch in three. So that's twice, you'll do that three more times. One, two, and three stitches. Two together, TSS in the next three. One, two, and three. That's twice, we'll do that three more times. We'll finish the round with one more two together stitch and then a simple stitch in each of the next two. Make that connection and do the return pass. We're at round 10, <clears throat> excuse me, we're at round 10 now. We will simple stitch in each stitch around. So that will be 24 loops we will have on our hook. Work the return pass. Round 11, again, we'll work decreases. So TSS two together, simple stitch in each of the next two stitches. We'll do that five times. twice. We'll end the row with a two together stitch. TSS in that last stitch before making our connection. I'm beginning the return pass. So I'll let you finish that. We have one more row of Tunisian crochet to do on the hat, but before we do that, we want to stuff the hat nice and full. If you're finding it hard to get the stuffing all the way down, you may want to find a tool or something to use to help insert in that hole to make the stuffing tighter. I just had this tube of lotion handy, which fits the hole perfectly to help me stuff it tighter. Okay, so one final row of Tunisian. So we'll start with that two together stitch, pick up a loop in the next stitch, and we'll work that all the way around. So there'll be 12 stitches left. I think I forgot to mention last round had 18 loops. And we should only have 12 on this one. Working slowly and carefully. Then ending the round with a two together stitch and our connection. do the return pass. Eleven and twelve. And then we want to work the bind off stitches. So insert, pull the loop through and through the loop on the hook. Two.
And I'm just going to join my last bind off to the starting bind off stitch with a slip stitch. I think I'm going to need to use a different hook. We're going to be using our smaller hook for next round, so I'm just using that hook to slip stitch to my starting bind off stitch. And you can see how now we have a fairly small hole around the top. And we're just going to work to close that off and make a bit of a tip to the hat. So we'll chain one single crochet in the same stitch where we joined with a slip stitch. And we'll place a stitch marker in there. We'll work a single crochet in each stitch around. This last one's hard to see. 12, joining to the top of our starting single crochet. We'll chain one. Single crochet in that same stitch, moving our stitch marker up. Use this easier marker. And then we're going to single crochet two together all the way around. So that's one, two, three. And then for the last one, we'll insert in that last single crochet and in the single crochet with our marker. So we have six single crochet, two together. Now, if you wish to put any more stuffing in the top, this is your last chance to do it. You may need to use your hook N to stuff it down in further. So we're just going to continue to single crochet in each stitch around. until we have about 10 centimeters in length. So single crochet in each stitch all the way around until 10 centimeters or your preferred length for this tip of the hat. So once you think your tip is um, long enough for your gnome, you can cut your yarn leaving a 15 centimeter or so length. And then we're just going to weave it in and out of the stitches. Let's go in one, out the other, back and forth, four, five, six, and then pull that tail tight to close the tip of the hat. Then if you wish, you can attach a small bell using this thread at the tip. Once the bell is secure, I'm just going to insert the tail end up through. 
through the hat tip. Pull through and then I can cut it off and the tail disappears. So as you can see, we are almost finished our gnome. We just need to make some arms and attach them. So for the arms, we are going to take our lighter color from the body and I'll help you get started on it. We will make two of them about two thirds of the way down. You can see how, her, how the arms here are just below that first stripe. So you can determine that as you're working away. They will be attached on either side of the bead, or uh, sorry, on either side of the beard, just under that hat brim. So to make the arms, we're going to take our lighter color from the body and start with a magic ring. Using the smaller size hook, we'll place six stitches in the ring. six single crochet. That's three, four, six single crochet. Tighten as much as you can. Okay, so we've pulled that as tight as we can and now we're just going to start single crocheting in each stitch working our way around starting with that first single crochet. If you wish you can mark the first stitch of each round to make sure you keep single or six single crochet and just working in a spiral two three four five and six and start with the first one again Move your marker if desired. So that's one. I am going to make sure that I work over my tail a few times to help keep it in the center of these stitches so it's tucked away. And just continue working these six stitches around and around and around until the arm is the desired length. Then you can fasten off with a long tail and you'll want to make two of these. And then again, you'll just want to use that long tail to sew the arm in place, both arms, one on either side of the beard, just under that hat brim. Now, if you or Mr. Gnome are getting hungry, why don't you whip up a batch of this cornbread that Sonia has provided the recipe for to snack on.